Yo, what's going on everybody? Today I'm going to be voicing over me drawing a killer whale and the crescent moon. Um, I'm basically just going to be explaining what's going through my head while I'm drawing this and uh, what I think throughout the video. So I skipped over the sketch but now I'm on to inking and inking in my opinion is the hardest part of the drawing. And that is because I can't draw a straight line for the life of me. As you can see here, they're all really, you know, they don't look clean or nothing like that. I, I don't have very much experience with it, considering this is, I've only done a handful of um, alcohol marker drawings, but with my style that I'm using in the video today, um, it won't really matter because I'm going to be filling in most of the spaces with the black, cleaning up my lines, making it look just really clean. So by the end of the video, you can see the being still doesn't really matter. The markers I'm using currently are the Windsor Newton Pro and the Windsor Newton Pro and Brush markers. Uh, I was just picking out the colors in this part. Um, some of the colors in this set are honestly really, really difficult to pick because they don't match up all the time with the caps and the colors. You can see right here, I'm kind of doing some color swatches and the color selection in the pro brush markers i don't really love to be honest the blues are all right so now that i've chosen my colors i'm basically trying to add shape and dimension making the drawing really come alive Right now I'm going to be adding the grays in there to get rid of just the solid white look. This isn't necessary, but I just felt like I wanted the whole thing to look really well done and not a single part missed out. Now I'm adding the yellow to the teeth and the rest of the areas to kind of give it the teeth um, a dirty looking effect and then the rest of it I kind of wanted to go for like a gold diamond sort of orca thing and then the, I'll do the same thing with the crescent moon in a minute. The crescent was interesting because while I was um, filling in with marker, I noticed a lot of the mistakes I made with this specific style I was going for. I always like to have the black in between each color and I had to fix that a lot with the inking, but like I said, it doesn't really matter too much because you can't really go wrong with the style that I'm using here because um, whatever mistakes you make, you can basically fill it in with more Sharpie or more black, giving it almost more depth in my opinion and making some of the parts stand out more so maybe before if you didn't like something and you thought it looked strange once you add the black in there nobody will notice it and it'll look like a strong point Now onto my favorite part, the pencil. I chose to do pencil in the background to make the colors on the page really stand out and pop. 
So I think if you do any sort of native art, you should really give this a try. Even if your thing isn't necessarily contemporary art, I think it would add a lot to even just things with flat color.